Hi, I'm Brandon Smith, and this is the first edition of Gopher Sports, the one sports program that gives you an insider's look at Minnesota's Golden Gophers. We start this week's highlights at the Metrodome. For three quarters it was a Gopher party, but some things just aren't meant to be. Michigan came back strong in the fourth quarter to stun the Gophers and their nearly 62,000 fans. And Michigan leads for the first time tonight. With the Gophers up big in the final minutes of last week's home opener, Wade Hokinson got some playing time. We'll tell you why that's a story, and we'll talk about the issues you're talking about. Times we played extremely well. Needless to say, at other times we left a lot to be desired. Now another school comes along and says, how about some more money? Sure, you doesn't mean anything to her, obviously. For 57 years, Memorial Stadium was home to Gopher football. In 1992, the on-campus stadium was torn down. Today, the prospect of an on-campus stadium is a dream come true for some Gopher fans. Just getting pumped for this football game, I mean, it'd be so awesome. It'd be a huge atmosphere. For others, the cost is an issue. People spend too much money on them. In tonight's Legends segment, we'll talk to a former Gopher and the 1996 British Open champion. Professional golfer Tom Lehman came back to the university to support a fundraising drive to save the men's golf program. I think people have recently indirectly you know, benefited from what the university did for me. Second Effort features golfers that go that extra mile that give that second effort. Band Bridges is a program for teenagers with disabilities to come to ball games as a member of the Minnesota Marching Band. 12-year-old Nick Jones has had season tickets for four years. For him, this will be a special night. I get to sit on, on the field! Highlights, sports talk, legends, and second effort, you'll see it here each week on Gopher Sports.